This video is a demonstration of a way to get temperature control on a soldering iron without a heat sensor. Soldering irons that have a heat sensor are powered with a controller. The controller sends power to the soldering iron in long or short pulses at full power. The frequency and duration of the power impulses will vary according to the temperature of the sensor. In this way, the temperature of the soldering iron can be regulated in a very precise way. The main drawback of most plug-in soldering irons is that they don't have a temperature sensor, so heat control is usually a hit and miss operation. Some low-end soldering stations that don't have a temperature sensor work with a type of dimmer control. That type of controller is not easy to set to a specific temperature. The purpose of this demonstration is to see if a regular plug-in soldering iron can be set to a specific temperature by sending pulses at full power similar to how it is done with a good quality soldering station. The target temperature I will attempt to achieve will be 343 degrees Celsius. That's 650 degrees Fahrenheit. The reason I chose this temperature is because it works well on my Hako FX 888D and I would like my plug-in soldering iron to be set at that temperature. The soldering iron I will be using in this demonstration is a 110 volt 60 watt unit with a ceramic heating element. It has a built in temperature adjustment dial, but it is not possible to set it for 343 degrees Celsius. Although the lowest position on the dial is 200 degrees, the actual temperature of the soldering iron was 351 degrees. The circuit for the demonstration uses a PLC cycle timer to pulse AC power on and off in precise intervals. It uses a relay to send power impulses to this GFCI outlet. The GFCI outlet has a green LED in the lower right corner. The LED lights up when power is supplied to the outlet and goes out when the power is off. The soldering iron will be plugged into this outlet. The tip thermometer will be used to monitor the temperature of the soldering iron during the demonstration. The display shows the temperature in degrees Celsius. In this demonstration I will be doing a cold start and a warm start. The cold start is controlled by a delay timer. The delay timer uses a relay to either send power to a device or to terminate power after a certain time interval. The warm start is controlled manually with a momentary switch, in this case a doorbell switch. A warm start is necessary in real life situations where the soldering iron would have to be paused or shut down and then restarted while it is still cooling down. The cycle timer and delay timer are both powered by 12 volts DC from this power supply. The power supply circuit board is from an ordinary 12 volt AC adapter. Please see the video description for links to complete details on the components used and how to construct the circuit. Caution! This unit is connected to live AC voltage. Do not attempt to do this unless you know what you are doing. AC line voltage can be fatal. If you want to do this and you're not absolutely sure you know what you are doing, then get someone to help you who does.